quick smoke whiskey reviews. My name is Brent, and tonight got a special guest, Dusty Dan. It, it's pretty cool to be able to call him my buddy and friend now. We've got to know each other pretty good, man. But I'm going to let Dan talk about his channel for a second before we get started. Hey, guys. I'm uh, Dan from Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. Um, uh, Brent, thank you, uh, as always, for, for having me on. And um, I'm really looking forward to this uh, this blind um, budget bourbon uh, flight we have here, man. Really excited. Yeah, it's, it's cool. I mean, it, all because, I mean, they're all under 20 bucks. You know, I'll, I'll go over the whiskeys here in a second. I'll say what's up to everybody in the chat. What's up, Trev Wilson, Bourbon and Babies in the house. We've got Andrew Spiro, Eric Waite. What's going on, Eric? Um, Lopeness. What's up, Bourbon and Sang? Hey, what's up, Chris? Good to see you guys. Um, the the um, whiskeys we're going to be going over tonight is the... Um, JTS Brown Bottle and Bond. I think I picked this bottle up for $8.99 or $10. Bucks. Um, super cheap. And it's Bottle and Bond whiskey. Um, we also have the Evan Williams Bottle and Bond 100 Proof. I think everyone knows about this one right here. It's a definitely a decent pour. And the Old Granddad Bottle and Bond whiskey. Um, Dan, are you, you very familiar with with, with these pours? Uh, yes, uh, I am. Yeah, I, uh, I'm probably more familiar with the uh, uh, the JTS Brown. Um, that's probably one of my favorite uh, budget bourbons that, that, that I've ever came across. So, um, And then um, I'm, I'm fairly familiar with the Evan Williams as well. So, Yeah, they're, and, and they're all great pours, and I think a lot of times they get, you know, overlooked a little bit just because they're they're so cheap i mean i mean there isn't one of these over 20 bucks i think the most expensive one was the old granddad i think it's like 17 dollars. you know uh yep. there's more people rolling in the chat we got guy davis chad what's up buddy good to see you man i'm glad glad you guys stopped in uh the mash bills i want to talk a little bit about the mash bills and who distills these whiskeys also on um, the jts brown it's a heaven hill product Mash bills kind of undisclosed. Don't really know the mash bill on that one. We also have the Evan Williams. It's got a mash bill of seventy-eight percent corn, ten percent rye, twelve percent malted barley, and it's the old granddad still by Jim Beam. Um, the mash bill on it's sixty-three percent corn, twenty-seven percent rye, and ten percent malted barley. Um, what we're going to be doing tonight? My wife and father-in-law package these whiskeys up, send them to Dan. Uh, and they're, they're going to be blind. We know what whiskeys we're doing. We're kind of going to blind taste and just kind of pick out which ones we like the best. We, we think it's the best bottled and bond budget bourbon pour. I know there's uh, a couple other ones out there. That I think there's a JW Dant um, and may, maybe a couple other under $20, maybe one other one. I can't really remember what it is right now. But uh, there's, I think these are excellent pours and definitely something great to have around the house especially when you have company over for mixers or whatever or, or whatever you know i think they're good for us um uh yeah i mean i, I couldn't i couldn't agree more i mean I, again i think that jts brown is very very underrated yeah i think I, well, yeah I, I know evan williams it's definitely it's 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 definitely a great pour, and everyone knows it, man. It's, it's definitely a stand up pour. The JTS Brown Dan kind of introduced me to that. I didn't know too much about it, so I kind of went on a hunt for it, and uh, it's not that easy to find, really. I mean, it, I had kind of had a hard time here in bourbon in bourbon country um, finding it. There's a couple places that had it. But um, super cheap, under ten bucks. You know, I mean, <laughs> under ten bucks or at ten bucks, you can't really beat that for Bond and Bond Bourbon. Again, I mean, I just think it's, uh, I think it's very, very underrated for, um, for, for what it is. I mean, it's a, it's a great Heaven Hill product, and it's, um, again, I mean, the flavors you get out of it are, are, are fantastic, in my opinion, for, for a, a cheap Bond and Bond. Yeah, none of these are bad. I mean, 
You cannot make a complete one for on any of these but for the under $20. One of them, I think, I really honestly do believe I got those for the, the JTS Brown for $8.99, you know. Hey, Karen. <laughs> Good to see you, Karen. Uh, all right. Well, what we're going to do is we'll start with A, just kind of give you a nosing, our thoughts on the, on the flavor profiles of the whiskey and stuff like that, and see which one of these we like best, you know. Richie Z's in the house. What's up, Richie? What's going on, Richie? All right. Let's see here. I don't even know which one that got here. Let's see. All right, A. Yeah, yeah, there's some, there's some slight, slight color differences, too, between the three when I have them, uh, have them set out here. So. Yeah, there, there definitely is a slight, slight color difference. I'd say they're all probably around that four-year mark. It has to be to be a bottle and bond whiskey. You know, um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Let's get into you want to you want to start us off, Dan. Tell me your your, your nosing and stuff on A. Yeah, I mean A. I mean right right away I get a nice uh, a nice sweet corn. Um, pick up some honey notes. And not I don't get a lot of vanilla on this one, but I do get the um, the, the caramel is obviously present. Um, not not a lot of vanilla notes on there, but a um, little bit of. A little bit of baking spices, maybe a little bit further down in there, but um, that's about all I'm picking up right now on, on the nose. Yeah, A definitely has your, a, a good caramel note to, to me, uh, some baking spices. Yeah, it's, um, there's, a, there's definitely a nice honey note that's, that's present um, all, all around the glass. I mean, no matter where I nose it, I'm picking up a nice, really nice honey. Yeah, it's got a nice honey note. Um, there, there's a little bit of spiciness on the end. Um, yeah. A little bit of like a peppery note. It's a, it's a pleasant nose. I mean, it's the whiskey is coating the glass very well. It's a. Uh, yeah, it really is. Very nice nose on this one. It, and you got to think oh, when we're going through these, none of these are really going to absolutely have any amazing wow factor to them except the fact that they're great great budget whiskey pours that are bottled and bond standard whiskeys that are under 20 bucks two of them are under 15 you know under 13. um kind of hard to beat that um you can i mean these are these are just uh, a really a staple in in what bourbon is i mean they really i mean these are I mean, for the most part, they're easily accessible um, until you get to my state, unfortunately, where it's it's rather hard to find some of these. I, I do see the old granddad uh, more than I see uh, the JTS Brown. JTS Brown, I don't see it. I, don't, I can't find it anymore here. Um, and then the Evan Williams, you know, I just mentioned to you, I just saw one in the store the other day and, uh, and picked it up. So, um, but right in my area, I don't I don't get that either. So I get the black, label, but not the white label. Yeah, the, the, the black labels everywhere. The white label at, around here is definitely, it, it's easy to find. It's readily available and so is little granddad. The JTS Brown, you got to hunt a little bit more for. Um, but uh, you want to go into the taste on the first one? Let's do it, man. Brother a? Cheers. Cheers, brother. Yeah, I think I already know what this one is. Yeah, this is uh so on on the palette for me actually because I wasn't picking up a lot of the like the vanilla characters on it, but on the palette I do. Um, it's like a like a vanilla like a vanilla ice cream, maybe a little bit of nuttiness. Um, some of that pepper you may have been picking up on that on that back end that spicy note. I'm I'm definitely getting towards the the finish on this one. It's not the proof obviously the proof isn't that high, so it's it's definitely has to be a little bit of that rye kicking in. Yeah, it definitely has a rock kick, and the finish on this is decent. I mean, it's not short by no means. Uh, it's it's uh, got good. I am picking up a little bit vanilla that I did not get on the nose. Um, it's somewhat. It's pretty viscous. It's it's coats the mouth well. Um, and I'm even getting a little bit of an oak note on this. Um, 
very I can get a little, yeah, I can get a little bit of uh, I can get a little bit of oak on it. Yeah, a little bit of oak. Um, the peppery spice is 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 definitely there. Um, but you, you know what else I kind of pick up a, a little bit is uh, I, I do get a little bit of citrus too on the on the sides of the palate. Not too much on the front. Kind of glides right through the front of the palate. Um, mm -hmm. And that's you know right right from the beginning to the to the mid is where that like vanilla ice cream flavor kind of flows through. Right, um, it, it is creamy a little bit. It's got a little bit yeah, of creaminess yeah. on the front, um, and then the citrus notes kind of pop up there right before um, that that little bit of you know peppery finish at the end. It's really it's, it's good. It's good. It's decent. Um, I'm gonna go back to the chat for one second, Dan. Uh, we got uh, Jason C in the house. What's up, man? Stellar, Stellar Matrix. Um, I think I also see George, George, George Kaplan. Hey, how's it going, man? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, uh, Karen B. Ford, thank you so much for stopping by. Good to see you. Um, yeah, and the, these, it, it's just amazing that these are so, I, and me, I, I'm guilty of it myself. Um, but I think they're really overlooked, uh, you know. Um, and, yeah, I think they're overlooked. Um, it, it goes to the dollar, a lot of your expensive and more expensive whiskeys, um, and I think that's what people gravitate towards just because they think of the, the price. Uh, it, it, if it costs more, it's got to be better. Well, that's, that's just often, that's just not the case, you know. I think these are excellent pours for, like I said, two of them's under under 13 bucks, you know. <laughs> great, great, great pours. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I've talked to some people who've done um, blind tastings. I mean, they, they've done, they've done a, uh, I believe it was 12, if I'm not mistaken, but they threw in some top, you know, top end bourbons as well as some uh, low end, you know, bottom shelf. And uh, surprisingly, those bottom shelves, you know, fared very well against some of those tops, if not came out on top. So, um, you know, it's just because something is expensive doesn't mean it's going to be good. You know, it's but but it also, you know, everybody's palate's different, too. That's what that's what you have to take into consideration. You know, I may not have the same palate as as you or, or anyone else, you know, so. Right. Tasting is very subjective, you know. Yeah. It, it really, really is. Or a lot of the whiskeys that um, I guess I should I don't know how to say this. A lot of the whiskeys that um, I would tend to shy away from, uh, they're they're still selling those things because they're they're always there on the shelf and and and, and they keep refilling the shelves with them, you know. Um, very yeah. subjective. I think I know what eight is or A is also. Um, we'll save that for the end, and we'll rank which ones I guess we like. We like best. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting, you know. It's uh, and I had mentioned this on on Eric's um, channel last time on the live stream. It's just that, you know, I, I may not pick up the same flavors that that you do on the palate, and and vice versa. But um, it's it all comes down to you know, like uh, Jason from the Mass and Drum relates to uh, a lot of food that that he remembers when he was. Um, you, you know, younger and, and, and whatnot and growing up, you know, with his, uh, his grandparents. So, um, you know, we, we may not get the same flavors on a bourbon, but it doesn't mean that I'm not picking up a, a chocolate. I mean, you know what I mean? If, if you're not getting, if you're not getting chocolate and I am, it doesn't mean I'm wrong. It's just our palates are, are different. You know, we, we pick up different flavors and um, it's just, that's just how it is. You know, it's not that I'm wrong, you know? Right. Exactly. Exactly. It, you're exactly right. And there's so many different things that affect, um, your your experience with the whiskey, like what you make yeah, yeah. in a day, uh, and what you drink, and and all, and all those things. Um, it's and I, I, mean, I was I was saying too. Um, you know, one of the things that I related to before is is the flavor wheel. Like if I if I have a really hard time trying to pick out, saying, you know, what, what is this? You know, what am I getting? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you pull out that flavor wheel and you look around. And you're like, hey, you know what? That's that's what I'm getting. So I mean, it it never hurts to go onto the flavor wheel and, and look and see what you know. You'd be surprised what you find. Right. Well, something when I first started, like, tasting whiskey and, and getting into it and trying to experience it, there's this uh, whiskey smiths. They have this, uh, um, like, full sheet, full readout sheet that goes through all the different nosing and tasting profiles of bourbons, rice, scotches, um, pretty much everything. That was very, very very helpful to me um uh just and, and once i got more involved and more involved in it um 
it, I started being on pit, especially with scotch, especially with scotch whiskey and stuff like that. I, I started, it's on a sheet that had like earthy notes and medicinal qualities and stuff like that. And I, at the time, I hadn't really got into scotch that much, and um, which is something I've really grown to enjoy. But um, I didn't really understand those notes, but I, I, I do now just because it was right there in front of me. And I got to experience it, go through the whiskey. And, I, and that's what I would do. I would sit out here and my wife would be like, what are you doing? You know, <laughs> I would sit out here and you know, sit, out, sit out in my kitchen and um, go through these whiskeys as I would buy them and go through the chart and see what I picked out. You know, it's fun. It's cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's something that you can, you can react to once you see what it is. You know, if you have trouble thinking about, you know, what is that? What is that? You look at the flavor where you see it, but like, hey, that's that's what it is. And then, you know, that sometimes that sticks with you going down the road when you're trying something else. Right. Right. Definitely. Definitely, man. Definitely. We got Malton in Montreal in the house. What's up, Swami? What's going on, Swami? Uh, all right, Dan, you ready to get into B? And I'll, when, yeah, we, get, when we go through them once, and we'll try to go back through them again, get another experience with the whiskey, and we'll sit, but then we'll go through See which one we like the best and try to guess. Okay. I, I think I know what A is also. Maybe we're on different pages there, but I think I know what it is too. Hey, I agree. Now this one, this has got a completely different nose. In the it's completely, it's super, it, it's very sweet. My daughter's got me saying super with everything. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's definitely sweet. Uh, much, much sweeter. Uh, I get a, a really like a like a, a really nice burst of of caramel like just right away, and then you start to work. I, I get a little more deep, some uh, darker like deeper fruit characters on the on the nose. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that burst of sweetness, and this one seems to uh, jump out of the glass a little, excuse me, a little bit more than the last one did. Getting caramels. A little bit of brown sugar. I get a lot of brown sugar, to be honest. Yeah. A little bit of your not, rock not, spice. Not a lot of baking nose. spices on the on the nose on this one, but uh, yes, but for sure, for sure, I totally agree. Not super the complex, but it's it's definitely a nice, pleasant, uh, very inviting nose on the whiskey. Yeah, it's, I, it, there's there's definitely some dark fruits in it. I think a, like a, maybe a raisin. I I could see something that I, I, I was thinking. I get like a cherry note. Um, there's some darkness to it. Yeah. And Are I'm you going to the taste? Going an oak note. I'm going in for a taste. All right, cheers, brother. Yeah, it's uh now now that that's just it's so completely different from the first one. Um, now I wasn't getting a ton of baking spice, but maybe a, a very very little bit uh, on on the last uh, the nose I did on this one. But the the palate I do get the baking spices on here for sure. Um, leaves a nice little burn in your mouth, so maybe that's coming uh, from some of that rye. Um, more of a more of a caramel flavor not not getting a lot of that vanilla on this one but it's um that that dark fruit that i was getting on the nose um it, it could be that 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 cherry um it's, it's more of a more of a raisin character that i'm, that I'm getting on this one on the palate yeah the, the, the palate i i definitely got a uh, uh, a little bit of dark fruit characteristics of it it doesn't get raisin um, now that you said that, now that, was, that I introduced the palate, it definitely seems more like a raisin note. Um, yeah. It, 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 it opens up very well, very nicely on the palate. Um, it's loaded, to me, it was loaded down with like cloves and baking spices. And, and um, it finished very, it, very nicely, really. It, it, it opened up, it was, it was nice, pleasant. 
a little bit of a character. Um, I wouldn't say it was, it was as uh, as mouth coating as A. Um, it seems like this one this one doesn't linger on as much as A does, but I, I feel like I get more more flavors on on this one. It's making me want to go back and drink more. Like, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, it, it it definitely makes you want to go back for another sip. That's the first thing I thought. Well, let me let me take one yeah. more sip. Let's check it out again. The, the the finish definitely wasn't as long as A, but um, very nice once again. Um, nice pour. I mean, we I think we talked about this the other night of uh, like the the JTS Brown like twenty five cents a two ounce pour. I mean, <laughs> it was something ridiculous. It was pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, really good. It, you know, comes out to be. I mean, you can't you can't beat that at all. That's what yeah. I think. Uh, that's what I, I kind of think this one is the JTS Brown. That's. I, I would be be able to tell between the the JTS Brown and the Evan Williams when we try the next one. I, the, I think the 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 old granddad. I might have eaten my foot on this one, but uh, it's it was pretty distinct, pretty distinct with the with the rye content and stuff like that. But, yeah, um, yeah, it is it is high rye whiskey, and pretty distinct. And it was pretty easy to pick out, and it's helping us. I mean, as far as just being a blind blind and, and going, it, it is, but it isn't because we know whiskeys are in front of us, you know. Um, Richie says, Richie says yeah, is, uh, "Is the standard old crow worth picking up?" Um, I would say yes. Um, it, it, I, I, I in, in my opinion, I think uh, that's another one that's um, very underrated um, as far as uh, a bottom shelf bourbon goes. Is the is the old crow? Um, I, I actually had that side by side with um, an older old crow that I have, and the similarities were kind of mind blowing. I mean, it was like the consistency between the two being 50 years apart was, it, it was, it was insane. I mean, they were very, very similar. Um, but I would say yes, Richie, I would say that it's a, uh, it's a, a pickup um, in my opinion. Yeah. R Richie, it, it, it's definitely a great pour. I, and, and for the price, I mean, when you, when you get, I mean, don't get me wrong there. I think there are some, some whiskeys that are priced low for a reason, but um, there definitely are some unicorns, and I, I think when you get bottled and bond products or like your old curl, and I think uh, like the the very old Barton One Hundred is, I think that's a great pour. Um, it, it, it's, it's 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 great pour, and I, it's like twenty bucks, man. I mean, when you get into whiskeys that you, you can drink neat and enjoy for under twenty bucks. It's kind of hard to beat that. Absolutely. Um, you want to go back into it? We're going to try C real quick, and we'll go back through yeah. it. Do it. All right. Get in the nose of this one. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. just all three of these are just so different. Um, yeah, that's that, that's got a huge nutty note on it. I get a nuttiness on it. It's very... Uh, I get a lot of like citrus, like a like a citrus on the nose, like a, a really nice fruity character on there. I get some uh, some nuttiness, the citrus. I can definitely I can definitely see like an orange zest. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, kind of like a little muskiness too. Lasts really well too. Yeah, that is very, it's, it's very like, viscous. Got that nice orange, a uh, lemon zest. I I am picking up that that nutty character um, towards like the top of the glass. It's not it's not a heavy like nutty character, but a little bit. It's 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 there. It's it's kind of waxy. Yeah. If you know what I'm saying, it's got a, a waxy, a waxy peanutty note. Yeah, I. This nose I is. Like this, I like the nose on this one better than I like on A, but I like the nose on B better than I like the one on B. 
in this one. Agreed. Totally agreed. Totally agreed 100% of what you're saying there. This, the, 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 the nose on this one seems kind of, um, uh, it's not jumping out of glass. You're really kind of, you are going to dig a little bit. And uh, it's got a, it's got a, um, kind of unique from the other two, like a mustiness to it. A little bit of a mustiness. It's almost, uh, almost a, like, like botanical, like notes to it. It's, it's, it's really weird, actually. <laughs> Agreed, totally. It is definitely, definitely got a little bit of a weirdness to it. Not a bad weirdness. It's just uh, no, no, no. It's it's, it's it's different. It's different. It's definitely way different from the A and B. Let's go into the taste, man. All right, cheers, brother. Cheers. Oh, there's there's some heavy rye on that one. Yeah, I get I get some I get some rye for sure. I yes. get those rye characters on it. Yeah, the rye is screaming. Yeah, on that one, it's 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 screaming. Yeah, I'm maybe gonna like think slightly I'm grainy, maybe just a, like the, a little bit of those earthy, grainy notes. Um, but then towards the back, you get that that there's some black pepper for sure, a little bit of like nutmeg, and then onto the finish, onto the finish, it's that, that kind of that black pepper kind of lingers on all the way into the finish. Some yeah, citrus. It's yeah. Yeah, that's again. This one kind of. This one kind of skips the front of the palate for me a little bit again. Um, but then right right there in the middle of the palate, it's that black pepper and, and, and citrus that flow all the way into the finish. It, it I agree totally. Um, the front is kind of weak, but it, you're getting everything on the finish. It, it, it's, it's, um, yeah. it's black pepper. Um, your rye spice is definitely there. Yeah. A little bit of like a a, a a weird waxy waxiness note. I don't, I don't really know. I can't put my finger on it now. Um, and um, it's definitely grain heavy. Mm -hmm. um, you can definitely taste the grains in it. Yes, it's um yeah. Yeah. I almost want to say I'm getting just the 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 slightest bit of of like black licorice on the the finish as well, just and a I, very yes. very little bit. It, it, it. Yeah, Jason that, says he's, he guesses that's the old granddad, and that's that's what I think this it, is is the old granddad here. It, exactly, I I I definitely think it is also, and it, there's a weird. It's got that. Well, it makes sense. It got that a um, uh, little bit of a nuttiness to it. Um, that a weird waxy note. Um, it's definitely rye heavy for sure. Um, yeah, it's, it's unlike it's unlike a, a or B. I mean, it's completely completely different. Yeah, dude, there's dude, night and day, which they've all been a a little. Different, but that one there definitely stands out uh, um, among the three. Um, all right. Well, Dan, you want to go? We'll go back through C to A real quick. Check out the chat. C's in the chat. Yeah, I think um, I think I know what they are. I, I think. I mean, A and B are. Pretty close, are, obviously. Yeah, they're 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 close. Um, just from drinking some of the JTS Brown, I, I think I know which one it is, but I could be wrong. <laughs> I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm, <laughs> the same, I, I'm the same way here. Um, 
I think I know, but blind tasting really takes. I I'm pretty sure I know which one I like best already. But uh, yeah, and it, it's not it's not that any of these are bad. Um, these are all great. I would buy every one of these bottles, and I, I currently own two of them. So, um, I, I, again, if you talk about a, a great budget pour, all three of these fit right into that category without a doubt. Oh yeah, I mean, and like, it, 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 under, I can't say it enough, man. Under thirteen dollars to uh, I think the most expensive one was the old Granddad. Like, yeah. Seventeen dollars is a change. You can't beat it. They're all great pours. You buy them, I guarantee that you will not be disappointed in, in, in the pours. Um, you want to go back through them again, Dan? Real quick? Let's go, go, man. Yeah, we'll go back to uh, C first. See, like it's still, it's still got that weird musty. Do, do you get any kind? Of, do you get any kind of floral notes on this one? For a second, maybe, I, maybe a little floral nose. I'm, I'm I'm actually picking up black licorice on the nose now. This this has got to be the old granddad. <laughs> it's got to be, man. It, it, it's yeah. it's 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 really rye heavy. It it truly is. But what what's nice about this though is it's it's consistent through all the sips that I just took. It's very consistent. Um, the you know the mouthfeel never changed. The flavors are, are are still the same. Nothing really on the front of the palate. Very very flavorful on the on the mid to the finish. Um, yeah, well, very, I, I will say the mouth the mouthfeel on this one is is very nice. The, the, mm -hmm. I, it coats very well, hangs around, lingers. Um, I'm. It's 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 a great pour. It's a good pour. I mean, it, yeah. it it definitely sets itself way apart from these two pours here for sure. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's it's a it, night and day difference. I it's mean, night and day. Yeah. And, and yeah, I definitely got black licorice on the palate then. Um, yeah, <laughs> definitely. After taking a second sip, it is definitely there. Yeah, uh, I, I had to take a I had to take a sip of water before I go back into uh, into B just to just to clear oh, yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> but again, it's it's good though. It's not that it's bad. It's just, it's, I mean, if, if you know, some people may prefer that over something that's not you know a high rye mash bill. Right. Right. Um, oh man, it's gonna be hard to pick out A and B. To, to be honest, yeah, there. I, I I think that B is the JTS Brown. Man, I don't know. I was I just totally cheated on you there, dude. I went straight to the A real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. I probably would to agree with you on that. I... Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's. Yeah, I still get those dark fruits. Those dark fruits, that nice heavy caramel on the nose. The nose on this one is. It, it definitely. I think, as far as the noses go, this one is surpassing. It, it, as far as what I yeah. like. Is surpassing yeah. the three by far. Absolutely, uh, I, I completely agree. It's it's jumping out of the glass. Um, very distinct, dark. It, it's it's kind of rich. I don't know if you get a rich sense on your nose. Um, I, I know I know what you're saying. Yeah, very um, pronounced. Yeah, very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I'm getting a cherry on it for sure. Brown sugars, the caramel. Yeah, I, I, the the brown sugar on the palate is like, it's up there for sure. 
I, I get brown I get brown sugars on the nose, I get brown sugars on the palate, I get dark fruits on the palate. Yeah, I mean, it's, but and, and again, with this one, brown sugar, honey notes, um, and it, it, it's coating the mouth fairly well, also. Um, man, that's, yeah, it's that's pretty good right there. It's, it's almost like waxy, like you were saying, how it's, it's, it's not. It, the the finish doesn't linger on, but it's it does give you that like waxy feeling. Yes, yeah. And, right. and after coming off this one and going right into this one, this it, it, it's coating the mouth extremely well for it's for what it is. It's coating the mouth very very good. Um, it almost seemed like on the, on the entry of your palate, it seemed a little thin. Um, it wasn't real thick and deep, dense and rich. Um, yeah. yeah, but it, it, nonetheless, it's 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 very good. I'm setting this one off to the side. It's going to be a comparison, probably between A and B on what my favorite are. Um, it, it's it, it's a it's a toss up. It's a toss up right now, to be honest with you. I'm, I, I'm I'm personally between A and B, but I want to go back and uh, and, and get into A before I. Before I finalize that uh, that decision, there. I will go get into A real quick. Yeah. Yeah. And now <laughs> see, now I get a little bit of nuttiness on this one. It's, it's a, it's yeah. A, yeah. Hey, I, I totally agree. I'm getting nuttiness on the nose now. A little vanilla. It's not, it's not overpowering though. It's not an overpowering like nuttiness. No, it's it, agreed totally. It's it's very subtle. Um, Jason said he's going to uh, Denver on Tuesday, hoping to find a new Heaven Hill bottle and bond seven year. Jason, nice. I, hope, I hope you're able to get your hands on one of those. Also, I um, I did see where uh, Breaking Bourbon got got their hands on a bottle. They get their bottle on it. They get their hands on everything, man. <laughs> yeah, they do, man. They they they, yeah. they nabbed them one up, you know. Yeah. I, I, I talk to them. Uh, I I talk to those guys every now and again. Um, they're uh, they, there's some there's some good people. They they do, man. They get their hands on everything, though. <laughs> uh, Peter White's in the house. What's up, Peter? Uh, what's up, most chat? Most hey, chat. Good right, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna get into the palate on this one. All right, cheers, brother. That's man. That's it's so good. different. All three of these are just, just completely, completely different. All over the flavor wheel. All three of them. Yeah, that's. I'm getting vanilla and caramel, baking, baking spices. A little brown, brown sugar, a honey note, um, maybe a little bit of a clove, and a little bit of barrel tannin on it. Yeah, I, there, there definitely is. There's more oak on this one than there is the other two. The, the clove, I, I completely agree with you. I, at first, when we first went through it, I didn't get the clove. But going back through, I do. I definitely get the clove. Once it, on the on mouthfeel, decent. Um, the finish, not super long, definitely not short. Um, man, it is a toss up between these two right here. Um, I, geez, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to B again, real quick. To see what my favorite I that, is. I, I think that for, for me personally, I, I like I think I like the nose on A better, but I like the palette on B better. I can see that. Well, uh, you know, you know, I don't I don't know, man. That's really hard I, to be I, with you. I think that um 
before we get into any or I don't know, I'm gonna go, I want to go ahead and say what I think they are, but we'll wait to see which one we, I guess we pick and see which one we like the best. But uh, <laughs> I, uh, you know, I, I don't know, man. They have some A and B have some similarities also. Yeah, there there's definitely some similarities. Again, C kind of sets itself apart. Um, I honestly think that's the old granddad. Um, me just, too, just me the too. Ride, yeah, the right characteristics that come through on that are just they're they're very present. Um, they're just like, hey, we're this is a ride. Um, just completely think, different from from these other two here. I think A is the Evan Williams. Yeah. Yeah, yep. and A, A is Evan Williams. B is the is the uh, yeah the JT Brown. Watch it, watch us both be wrong though. We're both I mean, gonna be wrong. That's very highly possible, uh, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, all right. Um, I don't know, man. It's a toss up. For me, between A and B, and which one's my favorite? They do have similarities, but as far as the nose goes, I think me personally, I prefer B. Now, on yeah. the palette, I think A is probably going to be my winner for which one I like best, just because it, 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 I, I think it tastes better, but. That's just me. I'll, I really enjoy the nose on B. C is probably my least favorite. Not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah. I, I think C is probably my least favorite of the bunch. Yeah, I mean, I, I think if, if you're really into those high rye, um, you know, those high rye bourbons, I think that that the the old granddad would definitely be for you. Um, I, I think that the A, I think the nose is is better for me on A, but the palate is better on B. So we're you and you and I are flip flop on this one. <laughs> we're we're, we're flip flop. Yeah. That, 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 that's okay, you know. Um, it, it, yeah, that's it, that's what that's the that's the beauty of it, though. To be honest with you, that's the beauty of it. You know, not um, not that you know we you know we can agree to disagree. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, Karen B. Fordson um, at Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews and Open Smoke uh, Reviews. Every time we do a blind bottle in bond here, we find it particularly hard to rank them. Yeah. Agree totally. Agree yeah. totally. I mean, one, especially when you're like doing a review, or, uh, pricing it, it becomes a huge factor. And, that, and for me personally, when you're getting into reviewing a whiskey and you say, hey, okay, this whiskey costs 150 bucks, it's, yes, it's great, but there's there's a lot of whiskeys out there. And I, and I think that um, pricing, as far as pricing goes and stuff, I don't think a lot of people like spending over 60 bucks, you know? I mean, I think $60 is like, okay, I'm spending over 60 this better have some kind of wow factor to it. All these yeah. small bonds here, I mean, they're they're under twenty bucks. It, it's definitely a great value bottle and bond pour, hundred proof. Yeah, yeah. they're in in under strict regulations, so you're getting the best quality product you can. I I mean, I don't even they're. They're actually amazing pours. I I, yeah, I try yeah, to keep them here at the house just to uh, just for company and guests and stuff over the house. It's always a great yeah. pour, and you're not throwing out a two hundred dollar bottle of whiskey to someone that not saying they uh it, it, I don't I'm not to say they wouldn't get it, but they, they don't. I have people come over the house all the time. They're like, hey man, let's drink some whiskey and. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, let's let's drink some of that the Pappy Van Winkle or whatever. You're not one of the more Pappy Van Winkle for the people coming over saying, "Hey, let's drink some whiskey." But uh, yeah, I think these are great, great pours. And totally agree with Carrie B. Ford on that one. Yeah, I mean, when you when you really think about it, you know, you buy a bottle for eight, thirteen dollars. Think about 
the price per pour that you're you know, you know that that you have right there. I mean, it's yeah, like I'm, we had the math on the other night. It's like a quarter for the JTS yeah. brand. Twenty five yeah, cents. I mean, probably probably less than that. Yeah. I yeah. Twenty five cents a that. pour. That's it's yeah. absolutely ridiculous, man. For a good quality <laughs> product, I mean, it's not like a. It's not like Jephtha, Jason. It is no Jephtha. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at that point, there's nothing to complain about. You know, and when you when you buy something bottom of bond for that price, you know, you look at it per pour. There's you can't complain. I mean, there's just there's nothing to complain about at that point. Um, Jason no. said, uh, "Yeah, when they're all the old, four, especially when they're all the four-year-old mark." I feel like the four-year-olds can give you a true flavor profile from each distillery. Uh, yeah, agree, totally, agree, Jason. Agree. Um, uh, totally agree. Totally, totally agree. 100%. And, and what's, what's nice about it too is when you know, I guess depending on on uh, which distillery it is, um, with those younger whiskeys, you can still get that grain that that grain flavor on, on the palate that's that's one way that i can usually tell if it's a young whiskey is when i get um those grains start to rub off on the palate too so um, that's that's a that's a good uh a good shout out there by jason for sure absolutely absolutely all right dan i'm gonna taste a and b one more time just to just to see which one i think i want to pick um I'm gonna I'm gonna go in one more time, go through these, and I'm gonna pick my favorite. And then we'll go through and say, "Hey, this is what we think they are," and maybe we'll both look stupid here. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure C is is the old granddad. Yeah. No man, B B is definitely the the JTS Brown. The, I, I, the, I was just gonna say A is definitely the Evan Williams. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're the Evan Williams. All right. Yeah. B JTS Brown final answer. The final answer is B JTS Brown. <laughs> I do, um, Brent. You have any, uh, you have any questions off the top of your head? I wanted to do a, a, a sample giveaway. I, I, I can't think of anything. I don't know if you have something that you can, you can come up with really quick. Oh yeah, uh, I'll think of something here. Uh, all right. What was the last review that I just posted? This is for a sample from you guys. The last yeah, review for a sample from Dusty Dan. He's gonna we'll send out a sample. Very generous of you, thank Dan Thawson, man. No I'll send out several to the winner. Let's see. Let's see who gets it first. ADHD fish is in the house. What's up, guys? What's going on, ADHD fishing? That's a that's a cool guy there, man. He's oh, it's awesome. true. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, the Beagle Rear is making his rounds. Trev Wilson said Bardstown. Yes, Trev Wilson. Trev Wilson, awesome man. Uh, Trev, um, either you know, reach out to. Um, actually, you can. Uh, I'll put my email in the chat. Um, go ahead and send me uh, your address, and I will. Um, I'll get something. Uh, something good out to you here soon. So. Awesome man. Um, yeah, Dane, I'll get his information, and I'll send you a sample also, Trev. Congrats, Trev. All right. Um, back to this situation here. I'm going to say for me on the taste, I like A the best. A is my favorite. B is second and C is third. That's weird the way that worked out, but that's what it is. And I think A is Evan Williams, B, JTS. <laughs> C is going to be the old granddad. Yeah, my uh, I'm going to be just a little different from you, Brent. My number one is going to be uh, B, which I think is the JTS Brown. Number two is going to be A, the Evan Williams bottle in the bond, and C is the old granddad 
bottled in bond. So let's let's see. I, I hope we're both wrong. That would be awesome. But we're both wrong, dude. I just peed. No way. Yeah. And the, the A is the JTS Brown was my favorite. <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite, man. The JTS Brown. The B was the Evan Williams, and we got this one right. The the old granddad. Yeah, the yeah, old granddad. So Evan Williams was your favorite. Yeah. Um yeah. That's the crazy thing about blind tasting. I mean, yeah. and I drink a lot of Evan Williams, man. I really like that stuff. And I've just got turned on to JTS Brown and the blind is totally let me know what I thought was best on the palate. And I, I guess JTS Brown is definitely it. Look at man, that's <laughs> <awesome>. <laughs> 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 that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Blind tasting is rough, man. Uh, but yeah, A was the JTS Brown, uh, B was the Evan Williams, and C was the easiest one of the bunch. There was some similarities in A and B, but uh, yeah, JTS Brown is my fave, man. So, so you <laughs> thought that you thought that the A was Evan Williams as well? Uh, yes, exactly. I thought A was Evan Williams. Hmm. I did, man. I thought A was Evan Williams. I, I I don't remember the Evan Williams having like a, a that 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 dark uh, those dark fruit characters to it. Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. Me neither at all. Uh, it actually it was uh, it kind of threw me off totally. Um, and I'm pretty familiar. I thought with Evan Williams. Um, Blinds are definitely, definitely. You're not. You're the, taking the label away. Is definitely a. It, it's a game changer. It's fun, the man. Beauty, I, I, I have really, you sent whiskeys, and um, I. It was crazy how it lined up. It would definitely. I think the bourbon pursuit, the whiskey you sent, was uh, all of our favorites. All of yeah. them, I don't know that I know it's called pursuit. I think it's what it's called. Um, um, and what ranked the lowest for me was actually like the Elijah Cray 18. I, I like the uh, the four roses that you sent and the yeah. uh, uh, straight from the barrel, which lit me up. Um, <laughs> it did, man. That, that I didn't really, it was definitely. It, a definitely unique pour. I never had that. I never, I never had straight from the barrel, and it was. But but I mean, I mean, this year just shows you that. I mean, we were very confident. We knew the answers <laughs> to these. C, we were right. We we were right on C. But yeah, it, you know, it, we thought everyone was A. We thought the um, the the B was the the JTS Brown, and and sure enough, we were. Uh, yeah, we, we both were, agreed on what. We thought yep. we were, but yep. we were wrong, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the beauty yeah, of it. That's the beauty of it. I would love to be surprised on, in a blind. Yeah, Karen, yeah. the blinds are definitely always uh, surprising and very revealing of what you like, you know. Uh, I, this, has been, this has been fun. It really, really has. Um, JTS Brown, I guess, it, for me, is, is my fave. Um, which all these, in, in saying that, all these are great pours. They they really they really really yeah. are They're great pours. Um, and you can't really say much bad about anything that's under twenty bucks. It's decent. I mean, these are all even to say that they're just decent would be an understatement. I think they're I think they're great. Me personally. I don't really. I'm not too fond of the old granddad. Um, I, 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 that's just me personally. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying, yeah, it's it's just not me. You know, I, 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 I don't, I'm not big on the, the the flavor profile or or even the nose or the mouthfeel or, or or any of that on, on the on this one. But if I had to pick between my top two, it'd be these, and apparently my favorite is the JTS Brown. Yeah, I, 
again, I mean, you know, for me, like the old granddad, um, that that came in last for me. But um, you know, something like the the old granddad one fourteen, that's that's fantastic. Yeah, that's that's a yeah, that is very very good. I, I like those yeah. old granddad. And, and it's, it's not that this was bad. It's just that's I I preferred A and B over over C. You know, that's just that's just what I prefer. Um, some people, like you said, you know, may may prefer that high rye, that high rye bourbon over, um, you know, one of these two. But, uh, but, but that that right there, this right here, just shows you what the beauty of the blind. You know, it just shows you the results. That's you know, I I, I like the nose on A better than I did B, um, but I like the the palate on B than I did you know did A. And you know, I picked, I I, I thought A was Evan Williams, B was the uh, the JTS Brown, and I was wrong. You know, I was hoping we were wrong, and we were. <laughs> yeah, we were both. Yeah, wrong, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's cool. It is good, and it, and it gives people an idea of what you know doing uh, reviews blind and actually getting to know what you really like. And, and, and blinds are awesome, man. I, I think it's so much fun. To to, to 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 do the blind tastings, man. I'm I'm truly I'm, I'm glad we were able to do this, man. I had a great time, man. It's been awesome. It, it was awesome. <laughs> yep. It was absolutely okay. awesome. We're rolling up on the hour, and I, before we we well, I sign off and stuff. I want to thank everyone so much for all the support they gave me. Um, my channels went through some huge changes. Everyone's been so amazing. Uh, it, it, Dan, uh, Jason C, Scott from My Bourbon Journey, um, uh, Guy Davis, Richie Z, everyone, uh, Trent Wilson, everyone's been so uh, amazing and, and just kind of, it was a big transition to make. It, it really was for me. And I just want to thank everyone for that, man. I, it's been great, man. It, I really enjoy doing this. It, it's so much fun, and the whiskey community is just totally awesome, man. Everybody, it, 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 it's, it's cool. I, I really enjoy it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it just shows you what the, uh, the the power of the blind is. You know, it's, it's, I, I've talked to people who have done, you know, a lineup of 12, having top end, uh, and then bottom shelf bourbons. And some of those bottom shelf bourbons come out you know, uh, not necessarily the winner, but but towards the top. So um, blind is, is definitely, 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 definitely the way to go. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, thank you so much, Trey Wilson. That's a, that's a very kind word you said right there. I greatly appreciate that. Um, going to get ready to wrap this one up. We're almost up on the hour. Um, thank you. Thank you, everyone, so much for tuning in. I'll have a new video up next week. If you have not subscribed to Dusty Dan's channel, hit the subscribe button. Great guy. He puts out some great, great whiskey content. Hit that subscribe button. Um, you can find it. Uh, where, where can they find you at, Dusty Dan? Um, on uh, YouTube, it's Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. And then on Instagram, it is Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews as well. Awesome, man. Well, we're going to sign off. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. You guys have a safe Saturday afternoon. You guys have a good one, man. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Fantastic live, guys. Yeah.